Hiya friends, Prepared Suburbanite back at you. Well today is uh, primary number two day. Uh, it's the runoff day and um, on the ballot for me anyway and my wife was uh, uh, the lieutenant governor's race and the state auditor's race. So it took us less than um, a minute and a half to uh, vote. So there was just uh, two races to choose from and off we went. So uh, we were we got there about nine o'clock and we were out of there at 9.05. So that was uh, how much fun it is. It's supposed to rain all day today. And in anticipation of that, I planted some grass seed and some fertilizer out front between our uh, street and the um, in the lawn area that's between the street and my property there that we're supposed to maintain uh, on behalf of uh, the county or the city. I guess it's the county out here. And uh, so I planted a bunch of grass seed, threw some fertilizer on there, knowing it was going to rain today. And uh, it did and it should do pretty good. I'll uh, keep you informed in that. We have been enjoying lettuce out of our garden and uh, uh, radishes and uh, the carrots are still a little too small. I suspect by this weekend we're going to be uh, shucking peas and uh, I just can't imagine how they're absolutely going crazy out there. So we had a pretty darn good year for our um, uh, winter peas, I guess, well, well spring peas. So anyway, um, here's what I wanted to talk about a little bit today. Um, it's been said that the problem with common sense is that it's not so common anymore. So stick around. So here's what I mean uh, when I say common sense isn't very common anymore. And I don't know if uh, uncommon sense is uh, going to be the right thing or not, but um, it's just dawned on me uh, after reading and scouring the uh, news this morning that common sense may be lacking in a lot of areas, but there is some hope. Um, I saw an article uh, that popped up yesterday that the Board of Trustees at University of North Carolina Chapel Hill have voted to disband their DEI program and they are going to re-channel the money into campus security. Well how about that? Now that sounds like common sense. I also read that Gavin Newsom in the governor of California has decided it would be a good thing for the taxpayers and, uh, and uh, working class people in California to increase the gasoline tax. And they've got the highest gasoline prices in the country right now. Um, so uh, he's, he's decided that it would be a good thing to increase the gas prices by 50 cents a gallon. And uh, if you think about what that's going to do to, uh, you know, somebody that's got a 15 or 17 gallon tank, you're, you're going to be adding um, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars per fill up to a, uh, a, a typical average gas tank. And um, I, I guess from my perspective, that makes absolutely no common sense whatsoever. If he wants to maintain his population, if he wants to keep the people in California happy, he would be doing something like rolling back the state tax on gasoline. But no, no. From his perspective, it makes common sense to decide very simply that he is going to um, increase the taxes so that he can balance the budget. Now, if I understand this correctly, two years ago, they had uh, an enormous surplus of funds 
in the California Treasury. Right now, they have an enormous deficit. So in order to fund that deficit and try to get back to something uh, balanced or, or even, he's decided that uh, 50 cents a gallon is the right thing to do, and that makes common sense for him. And as you all know, he's uh, very much behind the electric vehicle um, initiatives in the country. And if that doesn't uh, just kind of get your blood roiling, uh, I don't know what is. But common sense really isn't very common anymore. This is the Prepared Suburbanite reminding you that common sense is a virtue and that you need to recognize it wherever you can and support it. I'll see you all on the next video.